6.20 to the draw in the corner. Can I get 6.30? Anyone? 6.30? Is your lawyer bidding? Drafe whispered. Letty looked at his communicator. Yes. He'll keep topping whatever's offered. She'll be ours in a few minutes. Your father won't like that, Letty. What are we going to do? We can't hide her in your rooms until she's 18. I guess we could put her in Wobble's stable. But who wants to live with an old earth llama? Drafe paused and eyed his friend. Well, except for you. Letty grinned. When I get her, you are going to take her to the spaceport. Talk with Dottie. She's going to sneak all of us on a random ship going out of the system. Father would be alerted if we used our passports, so we have to sneak, at least at first. Once we're out of the Silverlight system, I can tear up your contract, as well as hers. You'll both be free. Drake squeezed his hand tight. His eyes left the stage, widened in disbelief. We're leaving the system? Letty snorted. I've given you several chances to leave over the last ten years, but you wouldn't go. I couldn't possibly leave you behind. I love you, he said with no hesitancy. What about your menagerie? Drafe looked at the Vexel newt happily perched on Letty's shoulder. Monty here wouldn't be a problem, but you can't possibly expect to sneak all of them on board a ship, and I know you won't leave them. Drafe shook his head, dumbfounded. What about money? How will you survive? I can easily get work, but you're a trained historian. They aren't exactly rolling in credits. He paused, already forming a plan. I could work, and you could stay home and take care of the baby. You'd be good at that. You love. It's your thing, and in the end, that's all it really takes. We can figure out how to feed her and change the diaper. 1050. Can I get 1100? Anyone? 1100. Dottie assures me we'll be fine. She picked out a Drellian cargo vessel, and my pets are heading there as we speak, even Wobble. Letty checked his comm, then continued. As for money? I've been saving for a long time. Do you really think I spend all the credits Father gives me monthly? Captain Wilhack had leaned back in his chair, feet propped up on the round conference table. His heavily muscled, tattooed arms were crossed over his chest, and his bearded face carried his normal scowl. The medical bay could really use some updates, Nettle said. If we stayed in one place long enough, it would be fast and relatively cheap. Drew, Hack's lieutenant, snorted. Like the captain will agree to stay in one place long enough. She glared at him and pushed his feet off the table. Watch yourself, Drew, he snarled at the four people seated at the table. Lately, it seemed like all he did was snap at his crew. He had to keep reminding himself that they were his friends, his family. Nettle laughed and leaned back in his chair. <laughs> Maybe we would be able to forget that you're all bark and no bite, Captain, if we had more time away from you. Time apart makes us forget that you're a softie beneath that big, mean exterior. It's too late, Celine, his battle specialist, said, her voice flat and monotone as usual. One of his crew gets injured, and he goes into mama mode. She gave him a dry look. Mama mode. Um... We could use some ship upgrades, too. Beck's voice was low and deep, his tone hesitant as he clutched his tail in his hands. The engineering specialist was wedged into the big conference chair. Grell were large folks, and Hack's friend was even larger than most. Muscle, not fat, but still large. Hack growled and stood up, pacing the floor. We already have another mission, and we don't have time to waste. Is it essential, Nettle? Can it wait until we get back to the station in two weeks? Are we going to stay at the station for more than a few days? Nettle asked. Four days, maybe. If we have to, Hack said. Four days? Seriously? He said, voice rising with each word. We haven't been back home for over five months, Hack. Four days is nothing. Especially if we have to work on the ship while we're there. Ma was hoping to have us off for dinner next time we're in, Beck said. Four days working wouldn't give us the time. His big, plain face looked devastated. Everyone's tired, Captain. I miss my husband, damn it. Even the ship could use some tender, loving care. Drew sighed. What's been chasing your ass lately? We've never been gone from home this long. <laughs>